Hello, hello. Welcome to another Let's Draw. Today we're doing a fighter portrait. So this portrait I came up with, let me think if I can remember. Um, I just wanted to do something interesting and I went again to Pinterest and see if I could, saw if I could find some inspiration. And so this one was actually a combination of a couple of pictures. Uh, I got a pose, the pose in like the hairstyle, the attitude from one picture and then the, how I wanted to shade it. Um, and some of the features of the face from another picture that was so gorgeous. I hope I'll try to remember to like link it in the description. The the thing that the face was based on, and of course some of the jewelry too. Like uh, a lot of the jewelry was based on the second picture. And uh, yeah, so I, I came up with this piece, and I was I was kind of happy with it. The one bummer was that I didn't finish it until after um women's day um international women's day and i was like wait no did i finish on women's day i can't remember i feel like i posted it on international women's day i think <laughs> and i i i was oh i was sad that i didn't finish it in black history month that's what i i wanted it to I, it was kind of like my my little piece for, for Black History Month, but you know, too little, too late, and but it did come in time for um, for International Women's Day, I think. Ugh, I'm trying to remember. I I, I don't remember. Um, but yeah. So jumping into this, um, I actually gave like a, a textured background to this one. Um, I was trying for this background that I saw in one of the reference images. It was kind of like uh, textured, and it's not really that easy to, to achieve that in Paint Tool Site, at least with the brushes that I have. Um, I don't really like the texture brushes, digital texture brushes. I, I, they leave something to be desired for me. And uh, I just need to like work with them more because I know you can do really great things with digital texture brushes. I've seen it. I've seen like amazing stuff with it. I just don't know how to use them properly, so I don't get very good results with them. But for this one, uh, the background, I actually just used the brush I used for hair and did like cross hatching with it, and it came out really nice. I liked it. It was it was it was pretty cool, um, and I think it gave the image just enough. Uh, oomph at the background without being overpowering so I, I like it I like it a lot um, here I am doing like the the jewelry neck piece and the chains and stuff it's this I think I left till last to do because I, I couldn't figure out like how I wanted to actually paint the little circle things like I saw the reference had it like really textured and really beautiful looking and I couldn't replicate that in paint tools I um, I couldn't figure out how to replicate that in a way that I would like it. So I struggled with it a little bit. I actually left it and, and moved on to doing the sword and then went back to it in the, in the very, very end, I think I actually finished it. Um, oh yeah, at this point I'm like, I, I did that gradient on the sword because I wanted to save the image of the, the, like, the look of just flats because one of the guys in my chat, Jebby, was saying how he really liked it at that stage. And he was he was like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. So I was like, okay, for you, I'll save that that version out so you can you can see it. Um, so I did save that version um, and I'll put it up on the, the screen right now. Hopefully I remember to do that. <laughs> there it is. Um, and it, it was pretty cool. I liked it. I did forget to paint in the eyebrows, which would have made it a little bit better. <laughs> but otherwise, it was fine. I actually really liked the block-in stage of this one. Um, to be honest, like I, the process of painting the face of this really was so awesome. Like the, it was because of the reference. The reference I was using was an actual other someone else's painting. And I just loved the way they did the skin on the face. And I love how the face of this one came out so much. So when we get to that, we'll talk more about it. But yeah, about the hair, um, I really like this um, way that I eventually came up with doing the edges of the hair. I was kind of messing around with more solid lines, um, like vector looking lines, and I didn't really like it. And then I, I used my soft brush that I use. I've talked about that in my lip tutorial the soft 
low opacity brush and I use that to do the edges and I used a technique for doing curls that I learned from Lowish um, and I kind of combined that with some loops of hair around the edges and it it really looked good I I loved that part of it it's just the rest of it was like figuring out the rest the flat giant mass of hair figuring that part out it took a little bit of time for me but I was really happy with that um, that curly curly mess around the edges and I really wish I could have like captured that on the inner mass of the hair but I, I just as you can see I have I used the kind of like a cross hatching pattern of curls um, I kept it for a little while but you'll see when I, I get rid of it I I don't like it in the end and I, I just want to do something different so I, I planned like after I left it um, and I was thinking about it off 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 stream and um, just thinking about it uh, without before look without looking at it and I was like I really think I'm gonna do that hair over <laughs> without even looking at it I was like yeah I still I don't even like it in my mind <laughs> So I ended up like the very next stream, uh, as soon as I remembered about it, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm redoing the hair. And uh, I do eventually do that, you'll see in a second. Um, uh, the shading of the skin otherwise, like, I don't think I did very well. Like, I didn't really, I thought it looked kind of, kind of flat. I did like go back to it and try to, um, I don't know render it a little bit more but I'm looking at it now I'm looking at the finished product it's not bad but it it looks unfinished you know it just looks it looks finished enough to kind of fit in with the whole piece but like look at the face and the neck and then look at the hands the arms <laughs> it's just it's it's kind of laughable but yeah look at the face right now this is gorgeous I love that that um that secondary light on her cheek I did that before on a study of someone else's work from Instagram I had did done a study of her study she did a study of this head and it's like I love that render I want to try it so I tried it and I did a sketch of it and I uh, I really liked that same thing was going on with that type of kind of dim pinkish grayish tone of a highlight on the, 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 the outer sides of the cheek and something about that like really brought the skin to life and I hear it, it came back again in someone el somebody else's work and I incorporated it into this and I absolutely love it um, so much so that my next piece um, I actually am trying to incorporate it again the piece after this that I'm working on. I'm still working on it right now um, or no by the time this video is out I will have finished it um, but that and the highlight right under the eyes I, I like how that looks on this piece too so I actually put that in the next one too um, it's just like I was talking about before when like I, I find things that I like from other pictures or from my own process just accidentally making something a certain way and I'm like wow I really like this and then I incorporate it in future pieces and kind of incorporate it into my style I might not do that lighting on the face every time but for now I'm practicing it in as many ways as I can um, and utilizing it as much as I can I really liked it <laughs> um but yeah now we're doing this sword which came out pretty nice i'm not gonna lie uh it, it's kind of cartoony looking i didn't really render it like maybe the contrast needs to be darker it looks kind of glowy with the color the colors that i finished it with i'm not sure what the problem is but um i i still liked it i i thought it was really really cool and it, it didn't um detract from the piece at all it, it fit in nicely <laughs> i really liked it but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think all that's left is to finish the jewelry, which honestly didn't take that long because I drew one, really liked it. And I was like, I'm not drawing this over and over again. <laughs> so I just like copy pasted it over all the rest of them and um, did the same for pretty much yeah all of them. I think I kind of like messed with some of the shading a little bit so that it would look a little different, rotated them slightly. Um, things like that, but it's basically the same, the same orb over and over again. But I did mess with the lighting a little bit afterwards. Yeah, I added like a goldish overlay thing. But yeah, and here are the final close-ups. 
What do you guys think? I love her face so much. Here you can see the second version of the hair <laughs> um, and the sword. But yeah, this this was a fun one. Um, a little frustrating at times, not gonna lie. But overall, I really, really like it and I hope you do too. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It is an absolute pleasure to make these videos. I hope that you guys leave comments below and tell me what you think of the, the pictures that I paint. Tell me what you think of the videos and have a conversation with me. Feel free to check me out on Twitch if you'd like to chat with me or hang out or ask questions while I'm painting live. My Twitch channel is linked below as always and feel free to check out my Instagram if you wanna see the finished image as well. I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, night, whatever it is. See you next time, guys. Bye.